Kevin Thunder here. Uh, back again tonight with another video. I'm going to be showing you tonight some vintage NBA cards. We're going to look at some cards from uh, the tops 1960s and 1970s, uh, all the way up to some uh, late 80s Fleer and NBA Hoops cards. Um, have a nice vintage binder ready for y'all so y'all can enjoy, sit back, watch, enjoy the vintage. Let's take a look at some of these cards. Okay, everybody, so I have two binders that I wanted to show you tonight full of basketball, vintage basketball cards to be more specific. And so this first binder is cards that range anywhere between uh, 1969 all the way till about, I don't know, 1989, 1990. It's just um, a hodgepodge of different uh, players from different years. So we're going to jump right into it. Um, going to show some names. You have Cassie Russell here, obviously a big name, Chet Walker. Um, so... Bob Boozer, Neil Walk, Archie Clark. Um, let's see what we got here. Johnny Egan, Floyd, uh, Flynn Robinson. And you got this cool checklist for the 1970-71 as it starts here. Um, got some good players. Joe Caldwell, Bob Love, Lou Hudson, and uh, Bill, Bill Hewitt, and uh, McCoy McLemore. And now we get to these really like these tall boys from the mid-70s. So you got like players like Lloyd Free, Jerry Sloan, Brian Taylor. Um, got a Hall of Famer of Nate Archibald. Uh, Caldwell Jones here. Cassie Russell, great shot of him here. Um, artist Gilmore. You got Spencer Haywood and George Gervin. You got some three studs right there from the uh, mid-70s. And you got Gail Goodrich, another Hall of Famer. Billy Cunningham, I think he's a Hall of Fame coach. And now we get to kind of like a mixture of different years of all different uh, different types of players. Um, so Tom Van Arsdale, you got this 1980-81 tops league leaders. You got George Gervin uh, as your leading scorer. And here you got a cool Robert Parrish right before he came to the Celtics. He was just finishing up with the Warriors. And now we got to uh, Dennis Johnson here uh, with the Sonics also before he came to the Celtics. Another Gail Goodrich. David Thompson here, Bernard King on the bottom, uh, Rick Barry, another great star in his day, um, Bob McAdoo with the, the tops 1979-1980, uh, you got James Silas, ML Carr, Alan Bristow, Paul Silas, uh, got some cool names, Robert Reed, Sidney Moncrief, these are some big names in the 80s. Here we have a Spencer Haywood, uh, Cedric Maxwell, a favorite of mine to watch, Bob McAdoo, some great Michael Thompson, some cool names to show in here, Paul Westfall. Here we have Wes Unseld, uh, Charlie Scott with the ABA All-Stars, Gail Goodrich, this is one of my favorite cards in this binder because just him behind the back, Wes Unseld. And so these are some really cool cards I found in a shop for like a dollar. Got a Willis Reed. It's Pretty creased up, but still a nice card. You got Elvin Hayes. Um, really awesome card. George Gervin, the Iceman. Uh, you got the New York Nets. This is a cool card. I think this is still with uh, Julius Irving. And another Cassie Russell here. Greg Hodges, a great three-point shooter. Jim Paxson. And here we have uh, Nate Archibald and with the Celtics here. Uh, Terry Cummings, Chris Ford. You got some Rick Roby action, baby. Rick Roby, Dan Issel, Reggie Theus, Fat Lover. Um, you got Lloyd Free again. Let's see any better names here. James Silas, Bob Dandridge. And we get to this page. You got Robert Reed again. You got a cool Isaiah Thomas. This is um, a later card, Fleer All Star sticker. I think it's a sticker. Jack Sigma, the Supersonics. Uh, no, actually, I think this might be the card. I think these are the stickers here. You got two Barclays. You got a Malone, Isaiah. Um, here we have Patrick Ewing. So you got some big names here. Tom Chambers, who was an, uh, one of the more underrated players in the 80s. You got Bob Lanier, one of the toughest players. Elvin Hayes, Calvin Murphy. Some really great names on this page. And we finish it off here with Chris Mullen, Patrick Ewing. So some really cool names, really big names in this binder. Uh, I'm just going to be kind of adding to it. 
as I go along. So if, so if I come across any more vintage basketball players, these are the names that are going to be on there. And so here we're going to go through some of the later 80s sets that I've built. So some really good names come out of this set as well. Um, as you can see, right from the Fleer 89, you got Dominique, you got Larry Bird, Dennis Johnson, Moses Malone, some big names, uh, McHale and Parrish. Um, and of course, like the best card you have here is the Jordan. So the Michael Jordan card. This one, uh, I think Fetch is somewhere, if it's in, you know, pristine condition, can fetch anywhere between like, you know, 30 to 50 to 60 dollars potentially. Um, I don't know if it's gone down. This is the last time I checked, so it might have gone down. It might have gone up. It's hard to really say, but uh, still a really, really great card for any collector that doesn't have the, the money to pay hundreds of dollars for a Jordan, but wants to have something that you know is prior to his 90s. It's a great card, and I highly recommend anyone trying to get this. The set in general for the Fleer 89 costs somewhere you know around like 75 to 80 bucks which I think is perfectly reasonable. You got Pippin, so you got some great cards in here. Mark Price, uh, Alex English, Joe Dumars on the bottom here. Here's Isaiah and Rodman. Of course, everybody loves Bill Lane Beer. If you are a Detroit Piston fan, you love Bill Lane Beer. Uh, if you're not a Detroit Piston fan, you hate Bill Lane Beer. You got Akeem Olajuwon, Mitch Richmond, Chris Mullen, Sleepy Floyd, you got Reggie, the Rifleman, Chuck Person, Detlef Shrimp. Got Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson, Baby James Worthy, Showtime Lakers. Uh, Alvin Robertson. Like none of these guys here, I don't think had outstanding careers, uh, but they had, you know, they Alvin Robertson, Ronnie Cycli, they had good careers. You got Jack Sigma, who's a Hall of Famer. Joe Barry Carroll had a good career. Uh, obviously, Patrick Ewing, great, great card of him there. Mark Jackson, Charles Oakley. Those Knicks were those Knicks teams were really starting to kind of uh, catch fire. Um, you know, since when Patrick Ewing went to the Knicks, which I know is controversial, controversial with the draft, with uh, was it David Stern putting his hand in, and they say that the you know the, the that the envelope was refrigerated, so he knew, or it was put into a freezer, so he knew which one to pick. You can dive in as much as you want, but nevertheless, Patrick Ewing, uh, those Knicks teams were pretty good back then. Got the Charles Barkley here. Uh, I think these Barkley cards fetch like a couple of bucks. Mo Cheeks, Tom Chambers, Kevin Johnson, Dan Marley. I mean, these guys were, I remember these guys a lot from like the 90s. Clyde Drexler, another great star, Hall of Famer, obviously. Uh... Nobody really big from here. I mean, I know Kenny Smith now because he has that show on TNT. I mean, I know a lot of these guys, but they just never really had the full potential career um, that players like, you know, uh, actually, no, Dale Ellis had a decent career. Mark Eden had a nice career, but nobody like, obviously, like Malone and Stockton, those guys were the stars. I mean, you have, it's a perfect match. You have John Stockton who leads and assists and steals all time. You have Carl Malone, who's like number, what, maybe number six or seven now in scoring? I don't even know anymore, but I know he's he's in top ten. I know that much. You got Bernard King here, who's a, who's a great, great player. I think he is inducted in the Hall of Fame. And you got some cool All-Star stickers, or All-Star cards, and the checklist. Uh, the Fleer 90 kind of follows the same um, number pattern as the 89, so it's just obviously a different design. I personally like this one. I personally like these more. I just think the colors and the old school logos just look, just to me, look look cooler than these. Um, just a little more dynamic, a little more colorful. Not to say these aren't cool, but you know, it's uh, they just don't have the same flair. Um, so, like I took the other Jordan out. I'll take this one out for y'all to see. Here is MJ, and this one's a pretty decent MJ actually. Not bad. I think these, I don't know how much these boxes go for. If you were to buy a box and open these up, I think they go for a couple hundred dollars because the potential of the Jordan. I mean, I think this fetches, you know, triple digits in price if you get a, like a, you know, like a nine or a 10. 
Got Scotty Pippen there. Brad Doherty. I'm not going to go through all the names because it's pretty much a repeat. If there's, there might be one, like I think the David Robinson is going to be the key, the key card here. So you got more Tim Hardaway. He's a rookie, rookie card there. Um, a lot of these guys were from the year before, so it doesn't really make sense to repeat the names over and over again. Uh, obviously, I'll point out like some really, really big names. So you got like Magic Johnson, whose documentary should be coming out soon. I mean, they keep talking about it. I don't know when it's going to come out. Uh, yeah, more of the same. Glenn Rice, I think this is his rookie card. Just waiting to get to the San Antonio Spurs. Um, Patrick Ewing. This is this was a cool card. I always thought this was really cool. I mean, growing up in New York, and I remember having this card as a kid. It's just super sweet to see him kind of elevating there. Uh, and we got the introduction of the Orlando Magic. Charles Barkley. Got, let's see, Clyde the Glide, looking good there. Here we're getting to the San Antonio Spurs, and we're going to get to David Robinson. This is his rookie card from the uh, Fleer 90 set. And obviously, the uh, probably the coolest card in the entire set is the Sean Kemp rookie card. I mean, whoever took the shot deserves like some sort of photography award, because this one was sick. Absolutely sick. I uh, got Carl Malone and John Stockton paired up again down here. And then you have the checklist. And you now you get to the Fleer 91. So again, it follows the same pattern as the 18, as the uh, 90s. I'll point out any new names here, but I'll go relatively slow so we can kind of catch. Uh, here's a Phil Jackson rookie card. That was his first year coaching. And there's the MJ. I'll leave this one in. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll take it out. We'll take let's take a look at it. There's a couple of different MJ inserts in this set because there's like a bunch of all-star cards. This one looks pretty good, really good condition. I have a bunch of these, uh, so I put one into the binder so that it could look complete. Scotty Pippen. You got Lenny Wilkins. Just trying to see if there's anybody different. Here's Paul Westfall Westhead. Uh, Joe Dumars, here's a Chuck Daly card. If there's anybody different. There's a cool Akeem Olajuwon with the goggles. A lot of the same players. Yeah, back then, I mean, there weren't a lot of players moving around a lot. It was pretty, pretty stagnant. A lot of the same, like a lot of these guys stayed where they were. Except for Dale Ellis, I guess he moved to the Bucks. After the after that year with the Sonics, there's Sigma again. Where's Patrick Ewing? Should be coming up. Here's Derek Coleman's rookie card. I think Derek Coleman won the rookie of the year that uh, in '91. Uh, there's Patrick Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley. Here we got Dennis Scott. I think that might be his rookie, Charles Barkley. Um. Tom Chambers with the Suns again. Clyde Drexler. So here, where, oh, here's David Robinson again. Showing his prowess. Slamming that, slamming the ball in. Gary Payton. That one might, I think this might be his rookie card. Another Sean Kemp. They were men. Sean Kemp and Gary Payton. That was a sick duo. Got Carl Malone and John Stockton separated by Jerry Sloan here. They were paired up together for like the last couple of Fleer sets. And so I guess when they introduced the coach. And here are the all star cards. Uh, this was kind of, this was pretty new. Uh, you got the uh, Michael Jordan, you got uh, Dominique Wilkins, Kevin Johnson. Obviously, I'll take out the Jordan so uh, y'all can appreciate it. Because obviously the Jordan cards are the ultimate steals in these sets. And there's a couple of other inserts as well that are in here. So here is the League Leaders card, Michael Jordan. So, um, I mean, these cards, the I mean, these cards fetch like $10 or so. The base cards, I think, fetch a little bit more. 
uh, David Robinson. And uh, they had some other, yeah, like these other ones with the Jordan on the front. Obviously, these pretty cool. You got Patrick Ewing there. Uh, let me see who's there. Bullets. It might be Bernard King, I would have to guess, and Barkley. And Joe Dumars, I think, is between Jordan and Ewing. I think that's Dumars. Got Sean Kemp slam dunk. So these guys were like the, you know, the, like Rex Chapman, who I didn't even know could had there was was the it was like a dunk specialist. I had no idea. I knew Dee Brown was. I knew Kemp. I knew Kenny Smith. I knew Kendall Gill were. And then finally you have the checklist and some more uh, All Star cards. And then you have these. I think these are stickers. They're just like cool. Actually, they're not stickers, but they're just cool inserts. And Kevin Johnson, Carmelo, and Alvin Robertson. So. That's the uh, the Fleer set. I thought I put together the NBA hoops in uh, in a binder, but I guess I haven't done it yet. But I will definitely do so for the next for an, a video in the future. Um, but I wanted to get you know get some basketball back in for y'all. Whoever out there enjoys some vintage basketball, I wanted to make sure I uh, got that in. So. Um, I want to thank you all for sticking around and watching tonight. If you are new to the channel, you enjoy vintage baseball or vintage basketball, uh, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right corner of your video here. Uh, you can be in the know. I'm doing a vintage giveaway of baseball cards uh, this Saturday. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the video. I'll, I'll put the link right above on the upper right corner so you all can uh, kind of find your way there and um, sign up for the giveaway. Uh, but again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great evening. Take care.